If you want to add a second monitor to a laptop computer, it's usually pretty easy. With this Dell, I can plug in an HDMI cable, plug in another monitor, now I have two monitors. But if I want three monitors, things get a little more tricky. This doesn't have two HDMI outs, but it does have a USB-C out, and the folks at SyncWire make this USB-C to HDMI adapter. I'll check this out. That's coming up on Thrifty AV. One of the reasons I like working with a desktop computer with a good video card is I can have multiple displays to put all my different stuff. Well, with a laptop, it's more restrictive. It's easy to make it two displays, harder to make it three displays. Well, this Dell Latitude does have a USB-C connection on it, and SyncWire sent over this Type-C male to HDMI female, uh, cable. they call it a cable, it is an adapter. This lets me plug an HDMI monitor into the USB connection on this Dell computer. Before I show you the setup, let's get into this box. It is uh, about a half a foot long or 0.15 meters. This is basically an adapter, so you will need your own HDMI cable to use with this. This is a Dell Latitude 5410. The USB-C port is over here. I'm gonna plug the sync wire into that USB-C. So I have my main touch screen here on my laptop and I'm extending the desktop over to this other 1080p monitor. Now I want to add a third monitor using the HDMI output. All right, now I have three monitors with three different things going on hooked up to my Dell Latitude. I have the regular desktop that's a touch screen on the Dell Latitude. I have a Chrome browser window opened up using the HDMI out on my Dell Latitude. And I have this 1080p monitor feeding through the sync wire USB-C to HDMI adapter. This really expands what you can do on a laptop computer if you need to do several things at once. Now the sync wire says that it's capable of 4K60, but the monitor I'm using with this is 1080p, so that's the resolution I'm getting for that monitor. One important thing to keep in mind with the sync wire USB-C to HDMI adapter is compatibility. Just because your device, your phone, tablet, or computer has a USB-C cable does not mean this device will work. Uh, your computer, phone, or tablet needs to support the Thunderbolt 3 protocol and it needs to have a USB-C port supporting the DP alternate mode interface. Now there is a list of devices, uh, a partial list of devices on the Amazon page for the SyncWire adapter here. I have an Amazon affiliate link in my description. Of course, if you order this device through that link, I receive a small commission at no additional charge to you. One device that the SyncWire adapter will work with is the Galaxy S21. David Harry did a video about the SyncWire cable that's closely related to the SyncWire adapter I received and showed all sorts of stuff you can do with the Galaxy S21 and this adapter. A link to his video is in my description. I did try this with some devices that I didn't know if they were compatible or not, and here's the results I got. I'm going to plug the sync wire into my Google Pixel 3a. Tap for more options. Okay, I want the USB to be controlled by this device. And it could not make the switch. I'm going to plug this into my Redmi Note 8. The phone did not detect anything hooked up to the USB-C port. Plugging the sync wire into my JRIN tablet, nothing was detected, so this didn't work. 
So the only device I have that works with the SyncWire uh, USB-C to HDMI adapter is this Dell Latitude laptop. So I'll continue to use the SyncWire with this laptop if I want multiple monitors. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.